open for my width here. I thought I you had to put a finger in to get it to open. Oh, that's a great idea. You just do it with your whole hand to make it go down. Yeah, Harry does the same thing. Pulls the whole thing up. Oh. Well, see, so you've already lost me on that. Yeah. I see what you did, but. All right, now I've got the. Uh, I'm going to do one more pull here. It's like you, you know, you record it and watch it in slow mo. Really? That is for our team. It's a magic trick. <laughs> All right, now when you're doing an enclosed form, you got to be careful um, about where you start closing the form in uh, because you need to leave plenty of clay or else you're going to have it, it's going to be too thin. And that's whether you're doing like a jug or um, a closed in box or pumpkin or anything. So I'm going to start about here closing this in about halfway down. So if you were going to do a jug, this is what you do. Oh, there right. you go. Oh, look how cute that is. That's cute right so there. So you're using, I'm using my, um, like my fingers, my thumb, and my fingers like that. So I'm kind of in three parts and I'm just squeezing that in. And you notice that I had my finger over the top and that keeps the rim kind of in there too. So I'm doing this motion like that coming up. Okay. That's great. All right, now, I've got enough clay here, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to bring this shoulder out. Just put my finger down in there and bring that on out some more. <laughs> How many pounds is this? Sorry. It's about a pound and a half. pound and a half. Did you see <laughs> this girl eats fast, but she doesn't Okay, now I'm, gonna, uh, I'm just going to close this in and just pinch that part off. And then I'll shape this into a little knob. And to do this, I'm pushing in here with my finger and then I'm pushing down with my thumb, but I have this finger kind of in there to support that edge. That like a little knob. And a design on top. Finesse. And finesse, right. Okay, now, so now I've got, this is all enclosed. All right, so to make this into a little box, uh, you can just take, a, I'm going to use this needle to the end, the flat end of it. Now, a lot of times people use a chopstick, uh, but you want to do, find out, think about where your box, the top is going to be, and then you're just going to uh, push in with your tool. Shut the front door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you want to push in, you don't want to go all the way, but you want to go almost all the way. So that's making that little lift that we just... Right. So yeah. the, the closer you get to that final point, then the less trimming you're going to have to do later. Okay, so now this is ready to dry. We'll put it in front of the fan and see if we can slow. My needle tool around there. Just like that. Wow. Just like that. Very cool. Now, um, so the next step is you got to, you know, you need to trim around here because you got a little flange here where you pushed in. So you trim that off. You can either do it on the wheel or by hand. And then you just test the fit um, once you do that. Uh, and you may have to trim a little more here. Or in here to get the fit, but you just you know keep working on it until you get a, a good fit with it. And you want a little bit of play. You don't want it to be super tight. You want you know a little bit of play so that it has enough room in the kiln when it's. Do you bisque with the lid on? Yes, and you want to bisque it together. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. With the top up. Yes. When you glaze fire, would you glaze it together too? Yes. 
you just want to make sure that you you know you don't get any glaze around the opening and that on the you know where the top the and the bottom the top. come together you, you know you're not it's so stable and what you can do what's a good idea is to put a little bit of groove right at the edge when you're trimming that so it'll kind of catch the glaze um right that's not a good idea oh, what are you doing so then you can trim it it's still a little bit soft right <laughs> so putting it in there wet doesn't doesn't mess up the piece underneath. No, throw it off. It's not as long as you got you know as long as it's sturdy. That was part of your drying with the to get it to that point. Right. That's because you hardly use any water. Like there's hardly any water in that. I'll need to trim it some more. So, but it needs to dry a little bit. But then I'll come back and trim this a little bit more. Maybe around here a little bit more too. So, okay. Can you open it more? Wow. 